During the Eocene, a family of whales known as the Protocetids existed. Not only were many of them found along the Tethys Seaway, being found in Pakistan and North Africa, but two, Georgia Cetus and Carolina Cetus, are also known from North America. Some were capable of walking on their hind legs, Rhodocetus and Myocetus, and possessed a strong sacrum which attached their hips to their spine. Others possessed legs but did not pe uh, possess a sacrum, such as Georgia Cetus, so Georgia Cetus would not have been capable of supporting its weight on land despite having legs. And some had reduced legs, such as Protocetus. Small flukes may have been present on the tails of Protocetus and Georgia Cetus, but others are thought not to have had flukes on their tails. Rhodocetus still possessed both arms and legs, although its locomotion on land would have been awkward. It was clearly adapting for an aquatic life. Its tail was thicker to allow more powerful swimming. Its uh, long toe bones couldn't fully support the body's weight on land and probably functioned as flippers. Not only were the legs present, however, but they showed linked to artiodactyls um, with similarities in the ankle. Although the hip was adapted for swimming, they still retained short hooves on their fingers. The eye sockets were located uh, in a lower position and oriented more laterally on the face. The lumbar region of the vertebral column was much more mobile in the protocetids than it had been in ambulocetus and other um, older whales. This greater flexibility of the vertebral column was important as whales went from using their limbs as their primary source of locomotion to the vertical movements of their vertebral column as in modern whales. It may be that this greater lumbar movement in the protocetids uh, was the precursor to developing the fluke on the tail and using the tail and the vertebral column as the primary source of locomotion. And in this group, as in protocetus, the sizes of the hind limbs are reduced. One specimen of myocetus possessed a fetus inside the abdominal cavity and it was positioned uh, head first. This is the position in which land living animals give birth, unlike the tail first position of whales. So if this fetus was near term, this suggests that myocetus gave birth as did land animals, which is not surprising given its solid legs. Others, such as protocetus, would not have been able to support their weight on land and may have given birth in the ocean. Known members of this whale family measured between 2 and 3 meters in length.